Hey, what's happening, spider friends? Welcome back to Marvel's Spider-Man. And Yay. it's side quest time. And you're in your favorite you outfit. Whoa. Hey, okay, that's new. I've never actually used this, so it's like a hollow projector. Yeah. And it's it's supposed to, like, distract people. But anyway, make sure you guys uh, spider like that button and uh, share this video with your friends. So today we're going to try to do uh, at least two side missions. The fight fake Spider-Man quest and uh, something else labeled Spider-Man. I, I don't really know. Yay. And yes, we're wearing the Scarlet Spider suit because I really, really like this suit. And uh, this video will contain no story or spoilers. So if you haven't watched our walkthrough for whatever reason, uh, this is just after the game and at night because it's fun. And uh, later today or tonight, I will be posting the uh, lore video on Ghost Spider-Man, which is, it's a relatively short lore video, so I hope you guys will like that. Okay. Spidey, go for it. You know, that never gets old. Good job, Spidey. You stopped that car, which had nobody in it. No, we threw him out somehow. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, That's yeah. right. I forgot. But now we have to deal with all these spools. No. Nope. Right. These are who's? Uh, Sables. Silver Sable people? But why Sable are we, guards. Why are we taking them down? I thought they were the good guys. Or Well, I mean, we are still kind of wanted. The mayor hasn't really called off anything yet. Uh, and uh, it's his hired militia, basically. Yeah, they're still after you, even though you made amends with Silver Sable. Well, Silver Sable kind of left, but yeah. Oh, weird. So, she yeah. was like, what? I don't like what my men are doing, but, you know, they want to be paid mucho dinero, so. What kind of missions are we doing today, then, Kiwi? Uh, we're going to do the fake Spider-Man quest, which are the blue quests. If you guys are wondering, that little blue bar thing right there, uh, that is known as a actual side quest, not to be confused with... Uh, things that you can do on the map, like stopping random crimes or challenge maps, uh, yep. finding book bags or tote bags, whatever you want to call it. Tote These... bags. Whatever. I don't like the word tote bag. It just rubs me the wrong way. Tote bag, tote bag, tote no, bag. No, 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 it's called a backpack. <sighs> it does go on your back, and it is a pack, but it's a tote bag. No, it's not. You don't tote it around. You Technically, it you do. You te technically. I never liked when people called it tote bags. It's just weird. Okay, that leads us to the question of the day. What do you call a backpack? Do you call it a tote bag or a backpack? Are you on K-Wing's side or Amber's backpack side? Let me know in the comment section below. Just call it what it is. Backpack. Sure, Amber. Let's agree to disagree. Because I take my tote bag everywhere when I go toting around. <laughs> totally. Totally. All right, so let's go find our... Why is the spider sense going off? I don't see any bad guys, do you? I think the game's glitching. I think it's going off because Zelda's uh, in the well, Zelda that... just walked by when he had his spider sense on. What? Our cat. Yeah, she... But she's not around anymore. Spider uh, sense is still going crazy. This? Because of that? Because of gun. Uh. It was a merry chase, lads. But alas, it is finished. Tis finished. Nicely done, Spidey. Yeah, I actually wanted to sing your Nightwing theme song that somebody made for you, which ah. went to the tune of Spider-Man, but I can't remember the words, but that was a great... Uh, thank you very much for writing that song about K-Wing and... I believe I pinned that comment. <laughs> that was cool. I think it had something to do with our YouTube channel and the views and <laughs> the different games oh, you play. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I enjoyed that. That was awesome. So if you guys are up for it, uh, probably at the end of October, we're going to be releasing our Spider-Man 2 Let's Play for the GameCube. So you can check that out. We're still, like, milking Spider-Man, because... Intenso. We'll be done with this game 100% uh, with you guys. Probably start of October, maybe? Middle of October? Oh, wow. And then our next big superhero game that we're doing that we're very excited about is LEGO DC Villains. Yay! Which is based on the Forever Evil thing. I'm so excited about that. Yeah, I just have to get used to uh, Mark Hamill being the Joker now in Lego form. That's that's gonna be. Yeah, that's gonna make the Lego Joker a lot scarier. I think so. I, th I don't really. I I think Mark Hamill needs to stick stick with scary Jokers because he's freaking me out with the. Le I don't want my Lego to just scare me. Then if I have my Legos in my room at night, I'm gonna start freaking out. I don't really. 
I want my Lego Joker to be nicer and just talk about grilled cheese sandwiches. Yeah, I don't think you ever. I didn't order any more Sable agents. Yeah, I didn't order any more Sable agents. Well, I mean, you have to remember too uh, that Justice League action show was kind of like a comedic, funny Mark Hamill Joker. Oh, that's right. I forgot he did the Joker. Thing. Yeah, and that was definitely a super kid-friendly show. Like, All I would right. say more so than the, the Justice League show of old. And more than the animated series. Animated series is for everyone. Yeah, I know. Animated series Joker was actually... That was what gave me nightmares when I was a little kid. Yeah, I'd actually... I think i find him scarier than uh, the uh, Nicholson Joker. I would have to agree, and I think, like, the people who don't find him scary in that aren't really thinking about what he's actually doing in that cartoon. <laughs> So, like some of the stuff he speaking does. Speaking of, of freaky jokers, have you seen that new uh, Jock, Jocklin Phoenix? I heard that, about it. I saw his makeup. He looks like a sideshow carny as a joker. And it it looks like they're going the whole Heath Ledger thing where he just puts on makeup. But then doesn't that counteract, uh, contradict the whole um, joker guy from Suicide Squad that literally fell in a vat of acid? Yeah. I mean, I guess they're going yeah. with the multiverse thing. It's just kind of weird, like... Yeah, why would you, um... So you're changing the storyline, because then he doesn't really have white skin anymore. Oh, and if you guys are like, wait, didn't you already take a picture of that in the... Your series? It's like, it's possible? I have multiple save files. I have posed for many years. Spider-Man! Threat or menace? Yes, that's right. It's time. Menace! I'm taking a position. And that position is... He's both! Sometimes he's a threatening menace, and sometimes he's a menacing threat. But come on, how can you menace someone without also being a threat? And, 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 and vice versa. And for those grammar Nazis among you who say I'm being redundant, it's called art. I'm a wordsmith. It's a rhetorical device. And if you don't like it, I'll tell you where you can shove that device. Okay, my intern is telling me it's time for my pills. We will be right back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor That's funny. Wait, he said he was a threat or a menace? They didn't give, like, Hero as an option? I, I think he's a menace. I don't think he's a threat. I, I think Spidey does a lot of really good things, but he does have a way of messing things up. I have to say, I don't know why, but web slinging through the center of New York City it's like man it's kind of like a beautiful city actually I mean I know this isn't actually New York City but it looks kind of like it uh I would say that this New York City is about 80 percent correct it, it is one of the most screen accurate New York cities but it is missing uh several landmarks because of copyright and yeah. also, you know, it doesn't do Queens or Brooklyn you or anything like that. Yeah, it's, it's Manhattan. It's Manhattan, yeah. You yeah, probably couldn't get, like, all the land. Yeah, I probably couldn't get the rights to every single company in their building. The only Spider-Man game that had Queens in it and Brooklyn that I can remember, along with Manhattan, is Ultimate Spider-Man. That was a huge game, and it was oh. all cel-shaded. It was like a cartoon. Yeah, well, I mean, doesn't Spider-Man, he's supposed to have grown up in Queens or something? Yeah. Yep, he and Mary Jane are from Queens. Mary Jane had an abusive father, and, uh, you know, she tried to hide her pain behind being a popular girl. Hmm. You know? Oh, so that was, that part of the Sam Raimi movies was actually correct then? To one of the comics, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that definitely adds, like, a depth to her character then. Yes, it does. Also, like, it was... What I liked about the Raimi films, too, is it showed Peter Parker wasn't the only one struggling. MJ was having a hard time, like, hitting it big. And then in the third movie, you know, when she did become a starlet, she was like a, a three... A three actress opener. She wasn't even, like, the, you know, top build actress. And then she got fired. Yeah, that's what some people don't understand. Like, I used to get... Like, as I was doing music in, in school and stuff, and people... Oh... Are we in the middle of something? Yeah, we're gonna do a quest. Yeah, yeah, burglarized. That person doesn't even seem to care that you're right there. Nope. They're just staring straight ahead like, oh, it's you. Are you okay, ma'am? Carmen, and I'm fine. It's my husband, Rodrigo. He's been acting weird, and I just found out he's meeting this woman. Well, listen, I'm not the best person to help with relationship problems. It's not like that. I think she's involved with bad people. Rodrigo might be in real trouble. He's scared, but he won't tell me anything. 
I can check it out. Any idea when he's meeting her next? Tonight, by the detox center in Greenwich. Okay. Don't worry, Carmen. I'll find out what's going on. Spider counseling! <laughs> Let's go check on a cheater! Center's not far. Yeah. Carmen just sent me Rodrigo's picture. Let's see if I can find him. How are you gonna find him in the middle of... Well, anyway, I was gonna say, like, I used to do a lot of music stuff, and some people used to be, like, super jealous of me when I get certain solos, and it's like... What they didn't understand is, like, for every ten solos that I try out for, you get one. You have to try out for- it's just like with voice acting and everything else. You have to do a lot of work doing that kind of stuff. Rodrigo. He's really nervous. Oh, it's one of those women. Woman doesn't seem like a girlfriend. I'll get a photo and see if Carmen recognizes her. Ten bucks saying she's harassing that poor guy. If that picture gets out, my life's over. Give me the plans and it won't. Nice clear image. Well, sounds like it. Yeah, it does. Now what? Hmm. Why is it people with colored hair cause problems these days? I think that's how you can identify who the criminals are. Plants. This sounds bigger than I thought. I better follow the blackmailer. Or yeah. troublemakers. Maybe not. Carmen, I'm uploading a alleged criminals. Does this woman look familiar? No, I've never seen her. What were they talking about? No, no Zelda. Zelda. Like she, him. she mentioned something about plans. My husband works security at a casino in Atlantic City. She could be planning a heist. But I'll need more evidence before I can do anything. Let me know if I can help. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna see where she's taking the plans. I'll be in touch. Yeah, you tell them that, Zelda. Yeah, Zelda's being cute. All right, uh, Luke. Why don't I uh, try to figure out where Zelda is? Okay, never mind. Another victim. Oh, she's so cute. No perches with a good angle on this new guy. Looks like it's the underside of the high line. <laughs> Okay, so what do they want me to do? Go over here? Oh, what about Totally Hair Barbie? She has colored hair. I don't know Totally Hair Barbie. Is she like some type of juvenile delinquent? Ah, oh, failure! Why? She's, she's a doll that has totally hair. Ah. Another victim or an accomplice? I need a photo. No perches with a good angle on this new guy. Let's try this again. It's the underside of the high line. I love that move. I need a better angle. What? Okay. <laughs> try over this way then. Gotcha. Why are you being so cute? So the Smurf lady is gonna beat her husband up. I don't know. Gotta catch my train. Don't want to keep the boss with Wait, I thought she's the boss. Hell yeah. How many people are in on this? I've got to follow him. No, stay with the blue-haired lady. She's the evil one. She might be harassing this poor gentleman too. I'm pretty sure they're working together, but okay. Can that happen in this day and age? I guess so. Yes. Crime is equal opportunity. Off. Tapping into the train system should help me follow the train's path. What? Oh wow, look at that. That's kind of cool. So spider vision through the road, then we just follow the train. How can you tell where the train is? Spider vision. Like you knew your husband. I'm sending you the photo. That's Deshaun, Rodrigo's best friend from college. He went to prison years ago on a robbery charge. Casino plans and a criminal record. Not a great combination. I need to find out who else is in on it. If they're hitting the casino, they'll need at least a wheelman and a safe cracker. I watch a lot of heist movies. Sounds like Oh my it. gosh. I'll let you know what I find She's out. like, I watch a lot of heist movies. What if Carmen is the bad guy? She just described the perfect crime. No, she said she watches heist movies. So that was her cover. Uh, cover. What are you doing, Zelda? You you can't but play. Luke, you don't have opposable sweet thumbs. What about anime girls with? What about what about Vegeta? He has colored hair. No, he doesn't. He has black hair. I should head over near the Not when he transforms. That that's different. That's a transformation power. I'm talking about real world setting, not not anime. Uh, oh, you're saying Vegeta isn't real? What? I mean, 
Good. Yes, he's real. He's drawn and animated and he comes to life. Stop ruining my dreams! <laughs> hey, let's follow this fool. Spider vision through the wall. Also, uh, just so you know, anime hair color has to do with uh, trying to explain what people in the real world look like using a different color scheme. Because in anime, you don't really have a lot of people with brown hair or black hair and you have colored hair. What am okay. I supposed to do? Ah! Zelda, you scared me. <laughs> yeah, the cat is attacking Luke while he's trying to play the game. She wants to play. But mm. I can't let her play because, you know. They're on the move. Bad guys have such nice vehicles. Yeah, they do. Now I just have to stop that car. Let's go get them. Well, I mean, making money is so easy for them. It's like they're stealing money. Because they are stealing money. I actually watched an anime recently uh, where this girl wanted to become a bank robber because she did it in a video game. And she, <laughs> yeah. she wrote on Google, how do I rob a bank? <laughs> and Google said it's impossible to rob a bank these days because they don't even keep that much money in the bank. Yes, they do. I worked at a bank. No, they don't keep millions and millions no, of dollars. No, but they keep money in there. They have to keep... You and know what? I probably shouldn't talk about this online. <laughs> There's money back there. Yes, there is money back there, but not one enough to risk going to jail for. Not that no, much. Oh, but I mean... Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. I actually, you know those, uh, that YouTube channel Doug talks about, like, kids talk to a disabled person, or t kids talk to a firefighter. They just had one on today where it's, like, kids talk to a bank robber. What? And they had the kids sit there with the guy that went to jail for robbing a bank, and they asked him all kinds of questions. It was so weird, and then people... Yeah. Your husband's pal and his team just had their trip to beautiful Atlantic City canceled. Thank you. I spoke to Rodrigo. That blackmail photo shows him driving the night Deshaun committed the robbery. But Rodrigo didn't know about it. He was just picking up his friend. I've got a contact on the force. She'll help Rodrigo. Especially if he'll agree to testify about the blackmail. He will. Or I'll show him he needs to be a lot more afraid of me than Deshaun. Ooh, what in the world? <laughs> Carmen's the you tell crime him. lord. What? No, she's being a good wifey. That's how you do it. What? <laughs> I think we're playing the wrong type of game. Fear and intimidation is that guy with pointy ears. <laughs> this is Spider-Man. Yeah, so... Well, anyway, I don't know. Shoot a web. I don't want to shoot a web. So Wait. anyway, like the... <sighs> Never mind. There's a dude yeah! who actually interacted with us, and we broke his hand. Ooh, he's like, ow. That was, that was painful. Sorry, sorry. Oh. Was so anyway, yeah, this little kid asked the bank robber, he's like... So, did you steal the money from the bank or from the truck driving the money into the bank? And the, and then the bank robber was like, how do you know so much about this? <laughs> like, <laughs> it was, I only watched part of it. I didn't watch the whole thing. I was just like, this is so weird. And then people in the comments were listing other types of criminals <laughs> that people, they were like, I want to see the kids talk to this type of criminal. And I was just like, this could get so bad. Oh. oh, I thought of some things, but I probably shouldn't say it on this channel. Oh, they were probably written in the comments, whatever you're thinking. <sighs> oh, why are my thoughts going there? <laughs> I don't know where they're going, but I've, I've seen that. I saw. But anyway, yeah, that was I don't, interesting. I don't want to tell you, but I, I, there was a commercial for that, like, Hannibal Lecter guy. Oh, my god! I'm just like, I can't turn him off. It's like, what's going on? <laughs> oh, my god! Quick, do something spidey so I can... Yeah, maybe they should uh, be like... Okay, there we kids go. Kids Bright colors. Kids talk to Doc Ock. Kids, kids talk to a super criminal. Well, remember, uh, Spidey did talk to Doc Ock in uh, Spider-Man 2. He has, like, an interview with him and his wife before everything goes horribly wrong. That's what I like about the Sam Raimi films, though, is yeah. there's tragedy. A stray shopping cart dents your car. You take it to the auto body shop, only that shop is a front for a drug lord called Tombstone, and he and Spider-Man have decided to have a power struggle at that precise moment. Sir, tell us the rest. I, I start to go in and I see Spider-Man fighting this massive guy with 
its fangs like a shark. That would be one Lonnie Lincoln, a.k.a. Tombstone. Did it seem they were fighting over drug profits or merchandise? I understand there's talk of a new drug that turns its users into zombies. I don't know what it was about. I got my ass out of there. Sir, I understand you've been through a lot, but please refrain from using that kind of language. This is a family show. Sorry. Uh, anyway, I'm glad I split, because pretty soon, the cops and firefighters are there. Ah, the real heroes. What a relief. I think we can all use a happy ending. I thought this was a family show. Jared, get rid of him! Wait, what? I didn't get that part. Spider-Man, over here! Yeah. Is something wrong? No comment. Oh, no, no. I just had to thank you for saving my daughter from those muggers. Uh, when did this happen? Huh? Just now. We saved? What? Busy guy like you. Look, you I just saved some people together. from muggers? Near the theater on 126 and Powell. She just called and told me. Right. Sorry. Uh, happy to help. I'm glad your daughter's safe. Okay, I wasn't anywhere near there. Whoa, Luke, how did you do that? See what's going on. Oh. Are they gonna do the spider clone saga now? Wait, is it that thing that hollow projection you were doing, or...? No. That'd be cool if they did the whole clone Spider-Man thing, although everybody hates that arc. But if it's done well... No, you can never do the Look, clone arc well. I'm messing with the cat while you're playing. She's tired out. There's the theater. And the crime scene. I better find out what happened. Sorry I missed the action. Thanks for keeping her safe, Spider-Man. What are those... Why isn't he being arrested for? Still alive. So whoever did this isn't a lethal protector. That's promising. He knocked those guys out? What? Or you did? I guess I did. I, I beat up a lot of people, I mean. That guy's like, good job. You're back already? I thought you were checking out that fire. Right. Uh, on my way now. Which way was it again? Last time you went that way. South. Thanks. I got These a people around. must think you're Someone's crazy. impersonating me. It could be the chameleon again. I've got to pick up his trail. Chameleon! Yep, that happened. I would get totally turned around if I was web slinging around because I'd be like, did I web sling too far? Or... Like there was a fire no, in this you just find the uh, blue dot. Follow oh, the blue dot. Oh, okay. There's the fire damage. Whoa. Looks like it got put out quickly. You came back! I can't thank you enough for saving my friend from the fire. I thought she was dead. My pleasure. Look, I want to make sure everyone's safe, but the smoke kind of got to me. Do you remember where I went next? Smoke got Sorry, to me. I was helping my friend. I think you went back up there. Thanks. I give your friend my best. I don't know what's going on. Where foe Spider-Man is, he's helping people. He used the fire escape. Guess he couldn't copy my web shooters. Ah, uh, he is hey, so... Spidey, what'd you do with that fire extinguisher? Fire extinguisher, huh? Wonder where he left it. Somebody's impersonating you? I guess. I other me left anything behind. Other me. The other me? This is weird. Maybe you from Earth 2 is here? Oh, wait. That would be DC. Wait, do they have Earth 2 in Marvel? Used a fire extinguisher. Uh, Type of suppressant is they don't really have the multiverse in Marvel. They kind of do, but they don't call it the multiverse. They call it something else. Multiverse is DC. DC Universe. Marvel Universe. Oh, I know. Yeah. Dun -dun. Okay, so then that goes there, and then this would go... You wanna play with the cat? Don't! I'm paying attention to the geneticness, I think. No. And this would go here. Yeah, that one's done. Wait, what? Uh... Um, there's like one that needs to be different. Last. Um, you know what? We're just gonna skip it because what? I forgot that you could skip these. I wanted to try to solve it, but pretty standard and easy to track. Hooray! You got Ammonium. Fire if I key my lenses to track its chemical signature, it should lead me right to Spider-Man 2.0. He's walking normally, no webs, no powers, which makes what he's doing suicidal. Unless he's like Jet Li or Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan is Spider Man. Hey, Sorry. Who am I? I'm Spider Man. Oops. 
Man, I'm curious to see what this guy looks like. If he looks exactly like you, if he's like a clone. Clone Saga. That'd be cool. What is a clone saga again? Uh, clone saga is oh, where. Oh yeah, that's right. You wait. I forgot. Yeah, continue. Okay. I'm sorry. Clone saga is where Spider-Man is cloned by a doctor, and uh, they've done it a couple times in animation. Yeah. And usually he clones not just Spider-Man, but he also clones uh, Gwen Stacy as well. Oh yeah. But in the cartoon, he cloned uh, what's his or Mary Jane instead. Except uh, the Clone Saga was a little bit different. He made them out of, like, water or something like that. Weird. Yeah, and then eventually they break down, and it's really sad. Kind of like Poison Ivy's plant people. Yeah, kind of, yeah. But no, uh, there was a more successful clone uh, between Peter and Peter's clone when... That guy looks like he's been in a fight. Maybe he knows something. Hang on. Is it... Who am I... Oh, I'm talking to this guy. Come on, man, lay off! I told you everything. The deal's going down on the roof. No lie. Right. Just you stay out of trouble. <laughs> going down on the roof. <laughs> oh, somebody made that guy afraid. Yeah, he does. He took them all out. That's gonna leave a mark. Oh, this guy's intense. Knocked out, but breathing. That's always good. This one will need painkillers for a few days, but should be fine. That's right, Zelda. Painkillers. And he left the drugs. Seems like his intentions are good, even if his methods are nuts. The police will handle the cleanup. Counterfeit Spidey must have gone down the other fire escape. That would have been fun if it was Daredevil, but no. So, anyway, Peter gets his clone of himself, has all his powers and stuff like that, but they can't tell who the real one is, so... That's him. I thought... People seem to like oh, him. Right. Yeah, I mean me. I mean, this is weird. My pleasure, citizens. Excuse me. I hear someone in need. Okay, I do not talk like that. Nobody <laughs> talks like that. Excuse me. Let him go. Yeah, right. We'll get even more from Mr. Fisk when we bring him your head. Huh? Oh, Whoa, hey guys! I'm not the real Spider-Man. Not anymore, you. Not. Whoa. That sounds like Josh Keaton. Time to even the odds a little. That'd be cool if fake Spider-Man was Josh Keaton. Could be. Yeah. Booyah! <laughs> Whoa, he's got guts! Oh my gosh, the guy's like punching those people. So it's kind of like he was able to beat up people if they didn't have a gun, but once somebody had a gun, he couldn't really do anything. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but when you dress like me, you inherit my enemies. And I've got a lot of enemies. Look out! I'll take the ones with guns. Alright, he just explained the guy's a martial artist. Oh, cool. Except he's just doing basic punches. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Oh well. Beggars can't be choosers. It's still pretty cool. They explained what fake Spider-Man is. So anyway, back to the clone thing. Uh, Peter and his clone, when they met, they couldn't decide who the real McCoy was. The clone uh, took the name Ben Riley, dyed his hair blonde, oh, yeah, and ben created Riley. the uh, Scarlet Spider costume that we're wearing right now. And oh. Peter and MJ stayed married. Uh, they were, you know... Pregnant with a baby, and uh, Peter retired Spider Man and let Ben do his thing. And that's how it was for a while. You were talking about in that tablet game you we were uh, playing. Spider Man, I can't remember. Spider Man Unlimited or. Yep, that's the Spidey tablet game. It's been around for like almost four years now. Yeah, the ones that, that we lost our save file on it, so we couldn't really continue. No, we didn't lose our save file. Our save file was there, all our spiders got erased, and we had, uh, like, 200 spider people. Yeah. Plus, we had beaten the game all the way through and had tons of points. Because it's not just... What people don't understand about Spider-Man Unlimited, it's not just collecting spiders. You also have to level up your spiders in order to play some of the more challenging parts of the game and to no longer make it a game where you have to buy characters in order to do well. You could level up your spider people, so... Because my spider people were so leveled up, it was a lot easier to do showcases and to play the game longer, and all this other stuff. So starting from scratch now, it would take me another year before I'd be able to show how to actually play the game again, because yeah. I would just show the same level over and over again now. I couldn't really do much with the game. This is amazing that this guy literally went around like dressed as you punching people punching crime in the face 
Part of me... I don't know. I guess part of me was hoping for the whole clone thing. It'd be funny. Yeah. It's funny that this guy... Man, that was intense! He's a cosplayer. How do you do it? One bruise at a time. Look, your heart's in the right place, but if you keep this up, you're gonna get killed. Yeah, I see that now. Mm. Don't worry, I'm hanging up the suit. Spider-Man, no more. Good call. Besides, you don't need a costume to make a difference. Hey, that's a good line. I'll remember that. <laughs> Fake Spider-Man! But he actually did make a pretty big difference. Oh yeah, he did a lot of stuff tonight. It's actually kind of impressive if you think about it. Maybe he should be his own superhero. Oh my gosh! Uh -oh. Do Spider-Man walking. You know, this is a side. perfect opportunity to get a picture for the thumbnail. It just shows how much better your suit looks than his because his just looks really bad. Well, I mean, I've had time to develop it. Been Spidey for eight years. What does his suit look like? Like, he got it as like a Halloween suit? It's story? a Halloween costume, Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's better than I could make on my own. No, whoops, sorry. Sorry, I was trying to interact with him. He wouldn't let me. You know what? That, that picture didn't work. Let's, uh, let's try mm -hmm. something else because you have a better pose this time. So we're gonna do that. There we go. That's that's ben better. Riley and your clone. The clone saga. <laughs> yeah, it does. Well, I mean, you can see his his hand there, but it's still. Yeah. Why didn't he put on red gloves or something? Uh, cheap costume. He didn't really care. So anyway, guys and gals, that is gonna do it for our first side mission episode. Join us Yay! next time as we explore more of the blue stuff. And I hope you guys will enjoy the ghost spider lore later today. God bless and happy gaming. Yeah.